Country music star Dolly Parton has spoken about the numerous fires happening in her hometown of East Tennessee. She stated to ABC News, I have been watching the terrible fires in the Great Smoky Mountains and I am heartbroken. I am praying for all the families affected by the fire and the firefighters who are working so hard to keep everyone safe. It is a blessing that my Dollywood theme park, the Dream More Resort, and so many businesses in Pigeon Forge have been spared. A spokesperson with the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency, Dean Fleener, reports that flames were near the theme park Dollywood, in which Parton is the owner and creator. Crew members were able to stop the fire overnight before the flames reached Dollywood. Less than three months ago, a sold-out crowd packed the VOK Center to watch Lizzo perform. Now the singer is under fire as a lawsuit has been brought against her by three of her former backing dancers. They are accusing her of body shaming, sexual harassment, and creating a hostile work environment. Eyewitness reporter Rob Hayes has the story. She's one of the biggest names in music. Behind big hits. And a reality show about big girls. Watch out for the big girls. But now Lizzo is facing a big lawsuit. It's the battle of the big girls. It's just really disheartening and I feel like I um, lost myself a little bit on that job. Ariana Davis and Crystal Williams say they were fired after nearly two years of dancing for Lizzo. During that time, the two said they endured a slew of offenses that included fat shaming, racial harassment, sexual harassment, and false imprisonment. And that just kind of is just a surface level summary. There's so much that um, transpired. Another former dancer is joining them in the lawsuit against Lizzo, filed this week in Los Angeles. These are not things that are appropriate for anyone work environment and when my clients complained about it they were terminated one of the incidents in the lawsuit is so sexually explicit we can't go into the details but it involved a sex club in Amsterdam sex toys and the dancers say pressure to participate I didn't want to be there and I didn't want to touch that new performer she started a chant and said hey Ari it's your turn to you know touch the performer I shortly left after that because um, at that point it wasn't even worth my my job we reached out to Lizzo's representatives for comment, but they have not responded to our request. Lizzo's reality show, Watch Out for the Big Girls, is based on giving dancers a shot at joining her cast. Girls that look like me don't get representation. But the dancers involved in this lawsuit say the truth hurts and that the love and support you see in the reality show is not a reality away from the cameras. And the truth is, is that hurt people hurt people. What you just heard was a sneak preview of the annual Fall Grand Concert here at Oklahoma Christian University. The concert is this Sunday, October 1st at 2 p.m. in Hardeman Auditorium. Eric Colgrove, the new director of the Symphonic Band and Chamber Orchestra, gave some insight on all the work behind the scenes. Uh, we started the first week of school, uh, so we've had a few weeks to prep. The, the purpose of this concert is just to kind of showcase our ensembles, but they're not, we haven't completely worked out these pieces. So it's a chance for you to come and see where they are right now and then kind of get a glimpse of what they might be later on in our, our seasons. What's great about it too is that they're not all music majors. There's so many of these students that are, are uh, non-majors but just want to continue their musical training that they had in their, their secondary schools. So um, we get a, a good mix of students and uh, there's a lot of opportunity to see growth and it's nice to see how that plays a part in everybody's lives, not just music people, but in everybody's. The directors and musicians are working hard to put on a good performance. They've even implemented something new this year. The chamber orchestra is performing at 140, so they're going before the actual event starts, they'll be performing out in the conservatory. And so you'll get to see them ahead of time, and then you can come in and watch the rest of the performances. The tickets are free. It's just a, it's free admission for this concert. It's a nice event for everybody to come to. Um, and again, if you're taking it for a class and you're supposed to ev attend events, this is a really good one. Reporting for Oklahoma Christian University, I'm Kimani Williams.